If you're into gaming, you've definitely heard of Twitch and probably enjoy watching gameplay there. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to stream to Twitch gaming using the AvaMedia LGP Lite GL10, an incredibly cheap pass-through capture device that intercepts the HDMI signal from your console, encodes it, compresses it, passes it to the supplied recentral software, and then streams it to Twitch. But trust me, it sounds a lot more complicated than it actually is. So first up, you'll need to get yourself an LGP light. Then plug it into your system like this, with a HDMI lead coming from the console to the device, and another one going from the device to your TV monitor. There's a USB lead going into my laptop, and on the other side you can see my USB microphone. But you could use a headset too, and I use that so I can add commentary on top of my stream. Next, you must have installed the ReCentral software. Have your LGP light plugged in, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go into the setting. So this is what it will look like. And so you want to click on stream and then you want to click on advanced here. And you just want to check you've got everything set up like this. So the platform is a game console. The video source is HDMI. Capture device is HDMI. Again, if you're going to be using a USB microphone, click on that. And then what you want to do is you just want to go put always on, go into the settings and probably knock down your capture device by two and keep your microphone at 100. This is because microphones tend to be quite a lot quieter than the audio that's coming from the game. But, you know, it might be different from your particular setup. For the video, FLV, H.264 plus AAC is fine. Resolution, I'd recommend you start at 720p, 1280 by 720 rather than the full 1080p. Um, the, the stream will be smaller and a bit more manageable and your video rate down at two megabits a second. Now you can push this higher to increase the resolution, well, the, the data that's coming through on your stream, you know, and it will look better. But at least if you start with a small uh, amount of bandwidth and that works fine, then you can slowly start to push it up because the, the weak point in all of this really is is your internet connection and your laptop and the, the Wi-Fi or the wired connection between your laptop or your computer and your router because you're losing bandwidth all, all the way. So if you start off low and then push it up high, um, it'll be fine. Audio bit rate, 128 kilobits a second, that's good. Frame rate, 30 frames a second, more than good enough for streaming. And there's a few things where you can muck around with the stop and start streaming. Now, next off, I'm kind of assuming that you've already got a Twitch account. Here's my one here. Um, and I'd say probably one of the first things to check is just to go into the settings. So click on the little spanner and then go to the main page and let's have a look. And then we go to channel and videos and you just want to make sure that it's archive broadcast is ticked. So this way, when you've done a stream, Twitch will keep it. And at that point, you can export it to YouTube, if you like. Um, and you can also make highlights for displaying on Twitch. Because as it says here, enabling this feature does not save your archives forever. We kind of assume with YouTube that they will keep our videos for a very, very long time. But Twitch here are saying, look, no, we, you know, we're not going to keep them forever. They will, they will disappear. Okay, so let's go back to my um, profile. And then what you do is you click on your little icon if you've uploaded one. And we go to our channel there. And basically, we're almost ready to go. All we need to do is edit the title here. So we would just edit this and put in... Um, COD Black Ops, what have I got on the 360? Uh, streaming test. Because I'm actually doing this live now as well. And it's COD Black Ops. Call of Duty Black. Ooh, it came up, didn't it, a second ago? Black Ops 2. Done. So that's kind of that's good to go. So what we need to do now, we just go back to the ReCentral software, uh, close that now, and go to the main page, click on the settings thing. I was doing it to YouTube earlier, and all we do is we just select Twitch.tv, Justin.tv, and it comes up. And then all it's going to ask you is your proxy. So where you want it to do? I'm not dead sure. I just put in the closest what location, which for me was EU, the London bit you've got. East Coast and West Coast in America, Asia, South America. Put your uh, username in and your password from Twitch. And then just click connect. Connection succeeded. 
Right, basically now we are ready to go. <laughs> you know, so what you want to do now is just make sure your console's all fired up and you've got to the kind of the bit that you you want to uh, go to. Um, in fact, to check that, what you can go is if you go into advanced and just go on to ready, the screen will then pop up just like that. And then all, what you can do now is um, you can just, I've got the microphone muted just for the, these test purposes, but don't worry about it. You just can click on the little kind of broadcast mic or the other thing that you can do is you can just press the blue button in the middle of your LGP light. It will start to uh, pulsate blue, which means we are streaming now. So if we quickly go back to Twitch, what we should see in just a second or two is our... right. They, they, obviously, it's all supported by ads, so that, that will come up first. We should see our stream pop up now if you've if you've watched my youtube video already you'll know that youtube takes forever to get the stream started twitch doesn't take half as long in fact i'm quite expecting it to be there as soon as this advert finishes there we go so what we'll do we'll just go just wait for this match and that's it we are streaming now we've got a chat on the right hand side so i can say hello everybody now i tend to use the settings and pop the the um pop out the chat and then shut down this once I know it's working okay um, because obviously it's putting stress on your laptop to stream and to render this this display as well but for the purpose of the video I'll leave it on let's do a little bit of a uh, little bit of a game just so you can just see that I am actually physically doing this now streaming live on Twitch to um, nobody's watching at all <laughs> but it's you know it's all about building a uh, building a audience isn't it and interacting with everybody oh what am i doing let's, um, let's go with that specialist is that a shotgun is it i i'm i'm no good at this game either is that a tactical insertion uh okay so they're gonna not be there are they lads they're gonna be flanking us around here probably there we go there's somebody oh gosh bit of a kick on that gun What weapon have I got? Choose class. That's the one I want. The M16 thingy. Uh, okay, so my fat lads are over there. So let me go over here. So, I mean, what streaming is all about, and I'm not saying I'm a good streamer, because I'm a bad player as well, but what it's all about is interacting with the people, because one thing... One thing you could do, dead again, one of the things you could do is um, obviously just record your videos locally and upload them um, and then just put commentary over the top. But the idea of doing it live is people are in the chat, they're all enjoying themselves, listening in. Right, someone's coming down here. I've got to get a kill this time. Well, so you probably find there's a little bit of a delay between what I'm saying and then what's appearing on the screen because there is this sort of delay in... Uh, in uh, in the streaming so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to end the stream by pressing the button in the middle of the lgp light and then i'm going to come out of this game sorry people okay so that's come out of there let's just put my controller down there we go and that's gone offline um and that my friends um how easy was that it really was good now what you would do at this point in twitch is you could Go into the um, settings. Um, if you go into, I've got to remember this now. Go into the profile. Go into your past broadcasts, and then what you can then do is you can then go in and you can create highlights or you can uh, export it to YouTube, um, add tags, all that sort of stuff. But as you can see, the LGP Light and Twitch make streaming or gaming really cheap and really easy. So. You know, now it's all just up to you to make interesting content, engage with your viewers, you know, have some fun, uh, enjoy and enjoy your gaming. Anyway, that's enough from me. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you again soon.